often in a wind tunnel, you'll see, or often when you see pictures of wind tunnel testing, you will see a man with a smoke wand and smoke blowing over the model to look at the nice airflow lines. So you might see a rake of several smoke wands creating uh, a bit of smoke that blows over your test model and allows you to have a look at the airflow. These are useful, but as you gain more and more experience of airflow, they're useful for looking at, if you like, macroscopic overall airflow. We use that technology today for real aerodynamic search, research, so rarely that we don't even own a smoke generator for visualization, human eye visualization of the smoke. We use the more precise and if you like, less intrusive. A smoke wand, when you put it into the airflow, already the wand starts to interfere a little bit with the airflow. The fact that you're pushing smoke out of the wand also interferes just subtly with the airflow. So you can use it to look at where is a vortex, where is the air going, um, the air that goes into the side pod, where does it come from? You can use it, you can move your, your wand around to try and find where does the air that goes into the side pod come, come from, that, that will work but we have other ways of finding that out. So we actually very rarely use a smoke wand as such in the wind tunnel for genuine aerodynamic research. It's good for the publicity photos. So if you see publicity photos like that, it's, it's a publicity photo. <laughs> I've probably said far too much already. If I say any more, other teams will start looking at this video, which I don't.